Hey there, first grade mathematicians. It's Mr. Tang here, welcoming you back for a new week of math here on VCPS TV. Our lesson for this week focuses on some geometry, more specifically, 3D shapes. Do any come to your mind when you hear that? This lesson is the second one for the week of June 1st through June 5th. Can you believe it's already June? Let's get going. Our objective for today is that we're going to identify and describe 3D shapes by comparing their attributes. Now when we say 3D, we mean three-dimensional. In the past, when we draw a picture on a piece of paper, draw a shape on a piece of paper, that's usually in two dimensions. We have length and we have width. The 3D refers to length, width, and height. And when we talk about the word attributes, we talk about things that we can use to describe them. Let's get started with the which one doesn't belong. Take a look at all four of the images. Can you pick one and give a reason as to why it doesn't fit in with the others? For example, I'm going to go with B. I'm going to say B doesn't belong because it's the only shape that looks to have a triangle in it. There is no wrong answer here as long as you can find a reason as to why your shape doesn't belong. Here's a challenge for you. See if you could find reasons why each of the pictures might not belong with the other three. When you do that, explain your thinking to someone else. Do they have a different reason why, they, why one doesn't belong? Feel free to share. You can do this by creating your own set of which one doesn't belong and share it with someone else. Three-dimensional or 3D shapes are solid objects. If they are small, you can pick them up and hold them. Let's take a look at a few and see if you can think of some real objects that fit the descriptions. This is our first one. Do you know what shape this is? It's a cube. Can you think of some objects that look like this? What are some of the characteristics or ways that you can describe a cube? My example is a tissue box that looks like this. Are all tissue boxes cubes? I don't think so. Let's take a look at our next 3D shape. Do you know what this one is called? Probably can be uh, the same shape as a tissue box also. This is a rectangular prism. Well, along with the tissue box, what else do you think looks this way? How does this differ from a cube? The example I found is a shoe box. Let's take a look at our next three dimensional shape. Do you have any idea what this is called? It's a triangular prism. Do you have any examples of triangular prisms? My example is this tent. What characteristics can you use to describe a triangular prism? Staying with the triangles, we have this shape. Do you have any idea what this is called? It's a triangular pyramid. How does this differ from a triangular prism? The example I found are these dice.
This one's similar, but a little bit different. Do you know what this shape is called? It's a square pyramid. I wonder how this differs from a triangular pyramid. One of the most famous examples are the pyramids in Egypt. Here's our next shape. Do you know what this is called? It's a cone. One of the tastiest examples of today. Mmm. How does a cone differ from a pyramid? Our next shape looks like this. Do you know what this is called? It's a cylinder. Can you think of anything that looks this way? How about a yummy can of soup? And the last shape we'll take a look at is this. Do you know what this is called? You're probably thinking ball. The technical name is a sphere. And the example that I used is this basketball. Can you think of anything else shaped like a sphere? For more on 3D or solid shapes, let's turn to our friends Annie and Moby over at Brain Pop Jr. Take it away, guys. Wow, Moby, that looks ah, 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 chair. Sorry, Moby. Uh, er, I think you dropped this. What is a cube? A cube is a solid shape. It has six faces or flat sides. The faces on a cube are all squares. There are 12 edges where the faces meet. And there are eight vertices, or corners. Plenty of things are shaped like cubes. Like an ice cube, a number cube, or a box of tissues. What is a rectangular prism? Just like a cube, a rectangular prism has 12 edges and eight corners or vertices. You're right, Moby. These solid shapes both have six faces. But most faces of a rectangular prism are shaped like rectangles, and all the faces on a cube are squares. Tons of things are shaped like rectangular prisms, like a juice box, radio, and even a thin piece of paper. Some buildings are shaped like rectangular prisms, too. What is a pyramid? This pyramid has eight edges and five vertices or corners. There are five faces and four of them are shaped like triangles. The base is the face on the bottom. The base of this pyramid is square. But I've definitely seen pyramids with bases that are different shapes. Hmm, I guess the sides of any pyramid are triangles, and they all meet at one vertex. When I think of pyramids, I think of the Great Pyramids of Egypt. What is a cylinder? 
It has no vertices and a curved surface. Two faces on a cylinder are circles. A cylinder can roll. A can of tuna, a penny, and a spool of thread are all cylinders. You know what's really cool? The curved part of a cylinder is actually a rolled up rectangle. What is a cone? A cone is a solid figure with one face, which is at its base. It's shaped like a circle. It has one point and a curved surface. A funnel, a traffic cone, and an ice cream cone are all cones. Hmm, there's one more solid shape here. What is a sphere? A sphere has no faces, no edges, and no vertices. It's curved and round, so a sphere can roll. A ball, marble, globe, and an orange are all spheres. Sorry about the mess, Moby. Hey! Thanks, Annie and Moby. It's been a while since we've seen your lovely faces. Well, boys and girls, now it's your turn. You're going to go on a three-dimensional shape hunt in your house or anywhere nearby. Remember to keep social distance. Can you find a sphere, cube, rectangular prism, cylinder, pyramid, and cone? Try and use these real-life objects to help you complete the describing 3D shapes chart either found in your packet or on the PowerPoint found in Schoology. The PowerPoint is included in the Try It section of your Schoology page. You can use a draw feature to digitally write on the slides and then save and upload for your teacher to see. Let's try a couple together. Let's go back to my basketball. What shape is it? A sphere. Well, this one's a little tricky, but also kind of easy because when we look at a sphere, there are no faces, no edges, and no vertices. But speaking of basketball, my shoes came in this awesome box. What shape is it? A rectangular prism. So this is where it gets a little tricky but because I have a shape on screen and not in my hand, so we can't see all the different sides of it. This is where having a shape comes in handy if it's in your hand. So let's try our best with what we have. Let's go ahead and start off with a number of faces. I see two of them right in front of us, top and the front side. So that's one, two. I know there's going to be one on the back. And there's going to be one on the bottom. So there's three, four, one more on the side, and one more on the other side. So all together, we have six faces. Next thing we're asked to find is the number of edges. Now, every time the faces meet, it creates a line that we're going to call our edge. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six seven that we can see. On the back side, there's going to be eight, nine, and on the bottom, we have 10, 11, and 12. Again, we have to use our imagination a little bit here because the picture doesn't show all of the sides. Hopefully, you have a rectangular prism that you can use to show your faces, your edges, and now last up, our vertices. Our vertices are a result of the different edges coming together to meet at a point. So let's see what we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six that we can see. But then we know on the back side when this when that comes down and meets over here, 
there's going to be another one there and another one there. So all together, we're going to have eight. Hopefully you could find some of these other shapes and complete the rest of the page on your own. Have fun. When you are confident and comfortable, move on to the show what you know section in Schoology and either complete the journal prompt on a piece of paper or use a digital discussion board to type your thoughts in the comment section or record your ideas using a microphone button. The journal says, solve this riddle. Name the mystery shape. List three or more attributes for the mystery shape. Here are your clues. I have a circle for a face. I can roll. Good luck with that one. Well, you did great this week, boys and girls. And as always, stay safe, wash those hands, and do the math.